welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about crafting modifying and upgrading your gear in bio mutant and all the kind of intricate parts that play into the whole system so hit the like button if you wish to it helps my channel it gets the video out to more people subscribe if you're new around here hit the little notification bell so you know when my videos go live and when i live stream leave a comment down below and tell me what character you're currently playing in this game or will be playing in this game depending on when this video goes live and make sure you follow me on twitter where i post pictures of my doggo and just talk so yeah link is in the video description so let's first look at crafting in terms of melee weapons and ranged weapons now you need one of each individual part that makes a full weapon to be able to actually craft as you can see if i go into my ranged here i can't craft a new range it tells me i need a base type of grip and a muzzle to be able to craft a new ranged weapon so i can show you the melee so if i go into craft new melee we get this whole heap of things that are right here so at the bottom you can see the crafting cost now all of these items can be found throughout the world from dismantling and scrapping items which i will show you right now to be honest i don't think i'm ever going to use this so i can scrap it and i will get one water and one clink metal whatever the hell it's called so if i need stuff i can do that as well so when you're at this point here you then get a handle and like a base type so if i go into handle you can see there's a lot of choice here and as you're doing this the damage changes you might get some extra bonuses to critical chance and things like that so if i just go through here i'm just going to go for like a big 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 damage let's just say that one i get a bit of crat a bit of crat a bit of critical damage um and extra damage on this weapon so i select that and then we have the add-on so you can go down to add-on you can add something onto it so i've added a tiny little wrench there to the bottom of it and it gives me massive armor piercing and a little bit more increase in damage so once all that is on and ready to go you can see the crafting cost at the bottom i have to spend two one one two one which isn't a lot of materials to be honest if you want to make a weapon um, so i'm just going to craft this now for the sake of showing you guys what it's about now i have this brand new weapon right here and i can actually put that onto my onto my bar so as you can see you have different weapons in different slots and you can switch between them whenever you want now the what is this one called the pipe wrench flat saw so if i just come out of this very quickly you can see the weapon is now on my back i can oh, <laughs> i can swing with it and just do all these badass moves like so you know each weapon that you create is either going to be two-handed one-handed stuff like that so each weapon is going to be very very individual especially when you are putting your own add-on parts and stuff on and that is basically crafting a new item so in the same way that you add an add-on to the weapon you can also do it to your armor but there is slightly more benefits to the armor so i'm using this chest piece here it's the very first one i spawned in with and it gives me a lot of key energy and a lot of energy regen i'm going to keep that for right now we're going to modify it so i can you know keep doing beast uh, magic and stuff because i'm a sci freak and as you can see there are multiple slots here for me to add add-ons to so let's go to this sleeve over here and then we get a whole bunch of choices here now as you can see when you do this the armor goes up and again sometimes you get some bonuses elsewhere too but for right now we're just going to go pure armor um, and pop you on so we do that and then on the other arm we can do exactly the same and you can see now that the armor's gone from nine instantly up to like 25 30 etc etc and it's just it's just awesome the amount of stuff you can build and make and stuff so now we go to the front chest piece and we're just going to look for high high armors so we're going to go 41 and then we can go further on again and we go 46 now as you can see my armor now looks ridiculously different there's all extra little stuff that's just stuck onto me and that to me is pretty cool and again at the bottom the crafting cost isn't dramatic i've been playing this game for maybe like two hours and i have all of that in the bottom um, in terms of crafting materials but i haven't really been looking for them and i haven't really dismantled anything either so i think you know if you want to invest in like one set of armors it's going to be pretty easy to do but in this game you're going to need multiple sets of armors because of the resistances but that's another video for another day let's craft this and you can see now that i look insane look how badass i look from just a second ago when we started crafting to now and as well 
because I've modified onto it, the cost of this, if I wanted to sell it, has gone up. So I'll get more money for it too. So even if you don't want it anymore, there's still reason to modify because you'll get some kind of return when you sell it. And you can do the same for pretty much everywhere. The shoulder pads only have one like kind of addition to them. You can't really do massive amounts of things with them, but I'm not going to waste any more of my materials right now because I don't need to. Um, the game's not too difficult right now for me to worry too much about it, but every single piece of this, so you got the head, well, the head if you don't have a legendary, the left shoulder, the right shoulder, the torso, the legs, and your hands are obviously the weapons. So you can make a lot of changes in your character and make it just look unique and badass and have all the attributes that you need to have when you are building your character and last but certainly not least upgrade benches these are scattered around the world you have to find them and you get a gear one separate to the weapon one so let's go into my web into my weapon into my gear and that same chess piece that we just modded up i'm going to modify it again and now here i can um, have for a lot of materials upgrade the quality right now it's a rare so it goes higher and higher and higher and you can upgrade the material which i'm not entirely sure what happens when you do it i don't know whether it like makes a massive difference obviously you get a little bit of armor improvement here too but i don't know the ins and outs of that specific stat but you can make things better but it does cost a hell of a lot of um, materials when you want to do this and same for the weapon as you can see i'm right here now and instead of going from like a rare upwards i'm at the green rarity to get to the next one it's a little bit cheaper it's only seven of all of the um, materials and you get a little bit of a boost to your damage you get some boost to armor piercing and the same with the quality again you can change the material and get a little bit more damage so this is very small little intricate ways of getting your weapons up i feel like upgrading will be, be like end end game stuff when you've got like the absolute peak of what you want to need and then you can just push it up a little bit more with upgrade benches and just at the end of the video i'll show you me modifying the current gun that i have and how many just beast ass things you can do with the guns as well the range weapons so you know i could put this on get a little bit of extra damage i can go down and put a good magazine on it get more bullets more armor piercing more critical chance i can add a muzzle you know these this is where the game really shines of what you can do and change so i'm just going to very quickly go through stuff here and you can you can see at the end kind of the difference from when we first started and now if i wanted to do that it takes a decent amount of materials but nothing too drastic so you know there's a lot to be done in this game there's a lot you can modify you can make things unique you can change the designs and have like a really beast ass looking character with some incredibly looking unique weapons and it really does show the uniqueness of this game and going through it multiple times replayability you know different characters different classes and just having the look of the draw when it comes to drops and just you know it's just an incredible game with a lot of stuff to do so i hope this video helped if it did hit the like button subscribe comment blah 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 blah, blah. and yeah i hope you're enjoying this game let me know in the comments thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome